and yeah, exactly. I mean, I was thinking myself last week. You've got, you probably say you've got more than this, but I'll just pick on. You've got three lads there to me who can make a difference. You know, in other words, the match wins because they make a difference. And I was thinking about it afterwards, and I thought, well, Jones is obviously one. Mm. And I, to me, Mayor and Sinner in a similar thing. But yeah. I actually thought they're making all they're doing is making wrong decisions, aren't they, at the minute? And so, how do you, you know, how do you get that through to them? Bar from experience and playing and keeps you hit on the nail. Yeah. Yeah. You know, people say, you know, I mean, you know, if you look at a young tennis player, a young tennis player can play all the shots. But he doesn't win many games against a senior tennis player and you say well hang on he's got all the shots he's fit he's whatever but he doesn't know when to play those shots and that comes through experience and what it is the experienced tennis players play maybe 100 games yeah. the young players play 10 games but if you look at Jonesy he's only played 25 games as a professional yeah. uh, with the greatest respect to TNS mm-hmm. um, and we talked about last season why I didn't put him in mm-hmm. earlier because he didn't understand his role mm-hmm. and, and we've got to get that into him because if he doesn't get that right then then his career is not going to take mm-hmm. off and uh, we look at young Sinbad, he's got five or six professional games under his belt. Yeah. You know, Danny, Sinbad? Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> Sin, you know, Sinbad, because obviously we looked back to his, his dad like I mean, he was, was he Sinbad? He was uh, all Sinbad, uh, and everybody calls him Sinbad. So, <laughs> but yeah, he's another young lad, and, and, and you know, Anton Forrest has only got seven yeah. professional games under his belt. So, yeah. you know, and, and I think if I look at over the last two games, that top end hasn't been as functioning as well as it can do, but then... Hopefully they will have learned from yeah. that. And, and and what we had to do, we talked about the club being a development club and bringing players yeah. in and trying to polish them up and that we are still doing to do that. Mm. But we also want to win. Yeah. So it's a fine line and, and, fine and line. You, you have to accept that. If you're going to bring young players in, and I think Anton Forrest is an excellent, mm. excellently well, mm. but he does need time to develop. So does Danny Mayer. Yeah. Danny Mayer is not the most gregarious player, yeah. a, a person, fabulous footballer, Isn't but he that? needs more confidence and mm. he, he's got to believe in himself more. And that doesn't come overnight, and he doesn't know the players here. Young Lee, uh, young Simbad's come in. You know, he, he isn't the most. You know, you won't walk into a dressing room and shout, "Hi, I'm here." Yeah. He, he needs time to, you know, build up and mm. it's a new environment for him. He's never played with these players yeah. before. He doesn't know. Mm. He's 19 years of age. Anton's 19 years of age. Yeah. So you look at that, and they're young players, and you know, th- th- we have to pick up their learning curve and develop mm. it. And that's what I'm saying. That's the exciting thing for the club is that as they get better. We'll get better, and we're close now. So I'm getting excited that if I look at it. But you know, anybody thought we were just going to come in and run away with the lead? Well, you know, absolutely talking through their hat. Yeah. Well-